All right, before I start this story, I briefly want to explain the difference between American college and Dutch college. To start off, there's three different types of post-high school education here in the Netherlands. MBO, HBO and WO. There are lower post-secondary education courses, I believe, but generally these are the most common education degrees required when applying for jobs. The type of education you follow is dependent on what difficulty you completed high school at. MBO allows you to earn an MBO degree in regards to a certain job field, HBO earns you a bachelor degree in a certain job field, and WO earns you a bachelor or a master degree within a certain field of study. Only the smartest of smart people can immediately attend WO after high school, other people will at least need a bachelor degree to get into university. Now, I'm currently enrolled in an HBO study. The main difference between HBO and American college, though, is that students generally cannot pick which classes they follow throughout these semesters. Instead, everyone is obligated to follow the same classes within a particular course. If you guys wish to know more about the Dutch education system, feel free to let me know, as I'm more than willing to make a separate video on it. Alright, with that out of the way, I've been enrolled in college since September 2015, studying IT and media design. In a nutshell, it's basically a very broad study that features topics like graphic design, web development, web design, marketing, visual communication and similar stuff to that. Anyway, here's my story. Alright, so our college offers four different IT courses. IT and business, which is mainly economic stuff mixed with IT, no thank you. IT and media design, the one I'm currently following. IT and software. I hate C sharp. And IT and technology. The latter two not exactly being my favorites. During the first semester, all students are required to follow all four of these courses, and each day of the week you'd have classes within a different course, alongside one day for a group project. Something else I'd like to point out is that group projects also play a major role in college. Each semester you have a different group project you need to work on. The project group I had to work with during the first half of the semester was pretty alright in my opinion. We worked hard, got things finished on time, overall we made a great team. Or well, except for David. Now, David was this pretty quiet and reserved Asian dude, and not just a little, no no. I mean like, no communication whatsoever, even when we'd be having a group project related conversation. He'd just sit there staring at his screen, which over time resulted in our group getting a bit salty. And don't even get me started on the time I was partnered with him for a technology class. Kill me, please. One day, we noticed David stopped showing up to class, though. Oh, how sad we were. Just kidding, we basically threw a party celebrating he was gone. To be honest, it wasn't too much of a surprise. During this particular period, students would literally drop out of class like flies after only attending college for a week or so. Hey, uh, where did that one guy in your group go? Oh yeah, he dropped out. What about Tim? Yeah, he quit too. John? Who? Even Bob? Nah, Bob's just gone for a walk. But it's raining. <sighs> My lungs require fresh air. <sighs> Seriously, that guy had to go for a walk every two hours or so because he couldn't stand sitting down for such a long period of time. Like, dude! This is an IT course, we're all lazy fucks here. Now sit down and drain yourself of natural sunlight for the next four years. So semester two comes around and we finally got to choose a course to follow. Naturally, I picked media design. During this semester, we had to develop some branding campaign for this upcoming rapper dude, who was quite a dick to be honest. Like he couldn't give less of a crap about the stuff we made for him. I mean seriously, me and my group even went as far as organizing a photoshoot with a goddamn neck beard. Guess what? He showed up 30 minutes late, kept browsing his phone, showed little interest in the photoshoot and overall had a shitty attitude. By the end of the semester, me and my group would be more than willing to impale the dude and drain his body of sustainable life energy known as blood. <laughs> Oh 
Luckily, there was also a major upside to this semester. This being meeting my current college friends. You see, ever since high school, I've always been a bit of an outsider. Mainly being known as the quiet girl who always lunches by herself because she has no friends. This was mainly due to the fact that I, as far to my knowledge, was the only one at school who liked anime and geeky type of stuff. And I actually was in denial about that for quite a long time. Telling myself, no, no, I'm not a geek, I'm not a nerd, I'm normal. That plus my overall shyness didn't really help either. However, as you can see, I managed to embrace my inner weepness, uh, so I was really happy to finally meet some people who were into similar things as me. However, due to the many years of me keeping my interests and hobbies to myself, I still was somewhat hesitant showing them, even when surrounded by people who are much different from those in high school. But you, you promised your classmates you'd talk about them. Uh, patience. By this point, college clearly didn't give a shit anymore and simply was like, fuck it, students don't need no structure or clear communication. Self-discipline, that's what you need. Personally, I really liked this semester as it was heavily focused on individual projects. Meaning you're free to do whatever you like as long as you meet certain criteria by the end of the semester. And hopefully you don't get fucked over by the teachers during grading. Personally, I decided to work most of the semester on a CSS and jQuery animated comic project. Luckily for me, the teachers liked me and closely followed my project's progress, so grading went fine. As for a handful of my classmates, they weren't so lucky. Furthermore, I also started following this side course called Digital Publishing. During semester 3 and 4, students are obligated to choose a side course they wish to follow alongside their main course. Why do I bring this up? Well, you see, during semester 4, me and my digital publishing group decided to take a different route and instead take on an assignment by an external company. Yeah, big mistake. We were asked to develop a face recognition webcam thingy as promotion material for some local RC tech festival. Sure, there was a bit of pressure, as the product needed to be finished within three weeks' time, but nothing to worry about. Or so we thought. Slowly but surely, we realized we weren't gonna make it before the deadline. So we ended up coding from 9 to 5 on several occasions. During the last few days, it was more complaining than anything. Hell, on the day of the opening of the festival itself, we still spent the entire freaking day working on the project. Because there still were so many bugs left and the goddamn application refused to work properly and... <coughs> well, at least I now know what it's like to work under extreme pressure. And what it's like to have crippling depression. Congrats, college. You did it. You managed to screw up the structure of this semester even more than the last one. Good job. Nonetheless, despite this semester being rather all over the place, so far I've enjoyed it the best out of all of them in terms of social atmosphere. Why? Well, it's because I finally started feeling comfy enough to let my inner weep out, so to speak. And let me tell you, it was received pretty well by my classmates. So naturally, my YouTube channel was quickly discovered too. Hell, even some teachers apparently started watching my YouTube videos. Or at least were aware of my channel to some degree. Which was awesome, but uh, I tend to get embarrassed pretty easily by my own content when in public. Alright, so now you might be asking, who exactly are my college friends? <clears throat> Let me show you. Hey guys, I'm Max, but for those over on Unari's Discord server, link is in the description. Know me better as Malix. Or the Bat Mod. Or that guy with the giant sentient muscular bat with a huge dick. How did this happen to me? My name is Jeff. I mean, Malo. 
I only recently started swimming and now they call me the fish hybrid somehow. You even gave me a fucking tail. Why, Senpai? Why? <laughs> Hey, I'm Lian, I'm 19 years old and I like yogurt. Hey guys, I'm Nikki. I'm the real hardcore gamer. I will 1v1 you and I will destroy you. Peace out. Hey, what boys, it's the one only Bjorn548. If you need tips, how to get jobs, Without experience, just give me a call, hashtag Jackhammer2, I'm out. Hello guys, it's me, Dancing Queen, otherwise known as Jay. I'm 20 years old, studying IT and media design, and I love ASMR. Security issues. I'm really into skateboarding and my mom is a dog. Thank you for good meme and you just lost the game. Hi, my name is Kai and I don't watch any hentai like these other uh, nerds. You guys happy now? They wanted their own anime opening, so, um, yeah. All in all, college has been a great experience so far. I enjoyed much, much more than high school and met a ton of people I thought I never would have. Thank you all for watching and I hope to see you guys soon in my next video. Bye! Okay, this one is for the ladies. My name is Bjorn. And if you are single and hot, and you live in the Netherlands, just give me a call. My number is 06 <laughs> Why are you laughing? I want the booty, Lord, what a booty. Bring on the booty, give up the booty, loving the booty.